of the Week is powered by Sinclair Law Office. Game of the Week takes us to Longview, where head coach John King the Lobos faced off against the South Oak Cliff Bears traveling in from Dallas. And James Grant, he joins us live from Lobo Stadium as Sock made their first trip to Longview since 2017. James, take it away. You just said it, Garrett. Sox first trip to Longview since 2017, and boy, it was one to remember for both sides. Longview, they came out in this one 2-0, Sox 0-2, having to go up against Giants, Duncanville, and North Shore their first two weeks. But let me tell you, throw out the records for a matchup like this between a heavyweight from the Dallas area and, of course, our Longview Lobos here in Beast, Texas. Longview started out early up 14 nothing but sock came roaring back and that's exactly how this game would be back and forth so let's go ahead and check out those highlights because this this game really had it all let me tell you here we go now again 2 and0 long view they start out with wins over at Lufkin and at Marshall South Oak Cliff coming in 0 and two for this showdown tonight between two uh, 5A and 6A heavyweight. Lobos opening offensive drive. Quarterback Maverick Rowe hits a wide open. Donovan Denmark, who rolls into the end zone for the touchdown. It's seven nothing Lobos. Bears looking to answer back. Sock quarterback Carter Capecchi hands it off to Damon Williams, but Williams loses the football and Mason Booker is there to fall on it for Longview Lobos. Get the ball back. Longview would capitalize on the sock turnover as Rowe slings it out to Kelvin Washington and Washington outraces the Bears defenders into the end zone. Longview goes up 14 nothing. Lobos coming out of the shoot hot sock would get back into this one. Bears quarterback Reggie McNeil Jr. A lot of football fans I'm sure know his dad, especially Aggies fans. He fakes the handoff and gets around the edge, taking it in for the touchdown. We are tied at 14 and then Look at this right here on the ensuing sock kickoff. Washington catches it, picks up a couple blocks, and makes a man miss, taking off down the sideline and into the end zone for the kick return touchdown. Lobos go back in front 21 to 14. But as we pull up the final score here, Longview was up 27 17 at the half. And again, it was back and forth in that second half. Sock able to uh, basically take control there at the end, choose some clock. Longview did get the ball back with about 17 seconds left, but the Lobos couldn't do much with it as they fall 45-44 to Sock in an instant classic. Here's Lobos head coach John King after this hard-fought battle. Crap, they're prideful, you know, and, and Dallas South Oak Cliff's a really good football team, and they came in here and earned a hard win. And uh, but our kids go to battle, uh, and and you know, like I said, game of missed opportunities. We had chances, and you got to make the, you got to make those opportunities uh, pay off for you. And there you go, you know, Coach King summing it up right there. There were definitely a lot of opportunities, and I got to say, it was one of those games, you know, Longview led for most of the game. Sock kept it close, so I'd say within about 7 to 10 points throughout. But every time Sock would score, the Lobos would come right back, and they would find the end zone. Again, they had a pick six. They had that kick return touchdown from Kelvin Washington, even forced a couple of Bears turnovers. And that Sock team, they are for real, so Longview – as hard as this loss is, losing by one to South Oak Cliff, they got to feel good with how they played. And Coach King told me that's the kind of Lobos team that you can expect to see the rest of this season. So I'm sure they're going to win a lot more games than they're going to lose this year. And, of course, they're looking to bounce back next week. They have Rustin, the defending Louisiana State champs, coming to Lobos Stadium. So another big-time test for Longview but a lot of positives to take from tonight's loss. Again, Longview loses 45-44 to Sock in a great game tonight at Lobo Stadium. Garrett, I'm going to send it back to you.